I don't know if you've seen my other channel. If you haven't, it's called Steve McDonald's Craft and I do lots of different crafts on there. Well, I made these acrylic pour paintings on that channel the other day and I, it's the first time I've ever made any that look half decent and that's because I took some time and researched how to do it. So check out that video. I'll link it at the end of this one. Now, what I want to show you is how I cover paintings if I don't want a really thick coat on it and resin will really bring out the beauty of all these colors look they're quite flat at the moment both of them and they will be really really glossy i'm going to be using this art epoxy by t expert and really is perfect for this it cures within about six to twelve hours it has a three times uv protect which is really important because you want to protect your stuff and you don't want resin going yellow and it has a brilliant high gloss as well so i'm going to mix some up and then I can show you how to cover them. It is really, really easy to do. The other thing is don't mix up too much. For both of these pictures, I am probably only going to mix up about 40 in total milliliters of resin. So 20 of part A, 20 of part B. And that will be more than enough. Absolutely more than enough. But before I mix my resin up, there is one stage that you need to do, which is, again, very important. I used a little bit of silicon in here that helped make these cells. Now, silicon repels resin. That's why we use silicon mats and we use silicon molds. And we don't want to be repelling any of the resin. So if any of that silicon has come up through this and is sitting on this surface or grease from my hands where I constantly keep rubbing them, then we need to get rid of that. And all I'm going to be using to start with is a baby wipe. Now I'm not going to be rubbing hard and I am only going down in one direction at the moment. All I'm doing is going over that whole picture. Now I'm going to turn it round and then I'll go over it that way. These also have been drying now for about three weeks as well to make sure that they're fully dry so that acrylic paint will not lift because I'm putting water or, or dampness on it. The other thing you need to make sure you do is go around all the edges as well if you want resin on your edges and ensure that they're nice and clean. Don't push too hard, you'd want to damage it, okay? And then we're gonna leave that to dry and then I'll take another baby wipe and this time I will use the baby wipe plus some 99% alcohol and I will rub over that like this. Very lightly rubbing not putting any pressure on that whatsoever really and then I'll fold that in half again and then I'll do the same thing I'll go across that way and this will evaporate off really quickly anyway and then I'll go up and down and again I'll do all the sides and I'll do both pictures like that let them dry for about 10-15 minutes so they're dry again and now I can mix up my resin so I'm now ready to pop my resin on and I've got it sitting here at the moment straight on my silicon mat because that's how I like to do it with canvases and I don't need much in here at all as I said look hardly putting any resin on I'm putting it around okay and that might be enough if I need to add a little bit more I can add a little bit more and this is where you want to make sure you've got really clean gloves on because it's what you're going to do next that's going to give it a lovely finish and that is you're going to use your gloved hand to ensure that you're fully coated everywhere going in circles or if you're going in straight lines it really doesn't matter at this stage as what matters is that you've got nowhere that isn't covered look at those colors already starting to really really pop now this is self-leveling resin as well which is important to make sure that you've got a self-leveling resin you want a good quality resin for this especially if you're going to be selling them because there's nothing worse than your picture going yellow after a couple of weeks if it's got light on it or anything like that so make sure that you choose a good resin and make sure that you spread this out now i can't see that we're getting any fish eyes in here at all and that's good and that means that we have got rid of all the silicon at this stage can't see any now what i'm going to do is just go around these edges as well with the same resin and make sure that I've got all the edges done too. Like I said, you don't need much at all 
less is more you could always add a little bit more on them if you need to and you will have created an awful lot of bubbles doing it like this because you're making bubbles really by rubbing over it but that doesn't matter because we're going to deal with those in a second and there's a couple of ways that you can deal with those because you've only got such a thin layer on it doesn't matter if your surface isn't level that you're curing this on or anything because what it is going to do it's going to stick there anyway because it's not thick enough to move anywhere else right, i'm just making sure i've got all these bits here where the paint turns over and i'm really happy with the way that that's covered so now i'm going to take my right hand glove off only and you can use a chef's torch for this next stage i actually prefer to use my heat gun because i'm less likely to burn any of the resin that's on there and this will get rid of all the bubbles and if there's any areas now because you've only taken one glove off that you feel that needs a little bit more coverage you can move your warm resin with this one gloved hand well this is all cured now and a lot of people would leave that like that but i like to give it a second coat doing exactly the same thing and i feel that that gives it a much more solid finish again you don't need much resin for this at all that will probably be enough and i use exactly the same technique i'm going round slowly and lightly rubbing that resin in everywhere and then if you have got any slight divots where your gloves went the first time or where you haven't quite cleared up all the silicon this should fill those in and give you a much smoother finish but like i said it's quite all right just to do the first coat let me get the sides as well and then again i'll take one glove off and then i'll go over it with my heat gun That'll help burst any bubbles and give it a nice even layer. A big thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. If you haven't become a member, then check it out. There's lots of perks for being a member of this channel and the link for that is in the description below. Well, these are completely covered now and lovely and cured and you've got a really nice even coat of resin on there and as you can see it's brought out those colors beautifully and the same for the little one as well look at the little one lovely and smooth i just find that works really well the only thing i would suggest is unlike me who forgot to do it make sure that you cover up your work as soon as you've poured the resin on it because if not, you will get little specks of dust and possibly a fly or something sit on it and i forgot to cover mine up but there we go so i hope you've enjoyed that really brilliant resin that art epoxy by t expert superb high gloss and really is beautiful and hard and it's ideal for coating pictures and things well lots of different things to be honest please move the like button if you've enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button check out the video that i've got coming up at the end of this and links to everything are in the description below take care enjoy your resin bye